Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design wire mesh used for fencing in cryoparametric. So let's get started. So this is the part. And this is manufactured by revolving a single wire around an elliptical tube. So you can see here. So following the same technique, we will design this part. So let's start the part. And for that, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name, uncheck use default template and say OK. Now from here, you select a proper part template. So I'm going for a metric template, millimeter kilogram second, I'll say OK. Now I'll start this part with the extrude feature onto the top datum plane, normal. Now here, first I will draw a ellipse, center and axis ellipse. I'll select this point as a center. This dimension, I'm taking 6 and this will be 24. So 24 by 6 ellipse. Now say OK. Now this will be surface and the height will be 520. So you can consider any value as per your requirement. So I have created an elliptical tube. Now the next thing is revolving a wire. And for that I will go to wrap. I will select front datum plane, normal. Now here first I will place a sketch coordinate system somewhere here. Then I'll go for reference and I'll select this reference. Draw a center line somewhere here. Now once this is done, draw a line starting from here till here. Now the dimension so this angle will be 30 degree. Now say OK and OK. So the wire got wrapped onto this elliptical tube. Now just hide this tube. Then you go for analysis, measurement and then check the gap between this point and this point. Copy this value. Now the next thing is select this wrap and go for pattern. Go for direction pattern and select this direction. Now this value will be 22 because the ellipse is 24 and I am considering wire dia as 2 mm. So 24 minus 2 is 22. So this 22 is the first direction, now the second direction and for the second direction you select the top datum plane. Now this value just double click it, paste the copied value divided by 2, half of that. So now you got 4 nodes, first one, second one, third one and fourth one. So I don't need this one and this one. I just need this one and this one. Say OK. Now you see. your curve got patterned. Now once this is done, just switch on your datum plane and then create to new datum plane. So go to the datum plane, select this point, hold the control key and select this datum plane. Say OK. More more datum plane. This time you go with this point, hold the control key and select this datum plane. 
все окей. Now you select this curve, go for trim and select this datum plane, say ok. Similarly, this side, select this curve, go for trim, select this datum plane, flip the direction and say ok. Now once this is done, go for sweep, select this curve, go for sketch, draw a circle, the circle dia is 2 mm, so make it 2 and say ok, say ok. Similarly one more time sweep, this time you select this curve. Go for sketch, again you draw a circle with a diameter 2, say ok and ok. So now you got these two wire connected together. Now these wires you just pattern it. So select this wire and go for pattern. Go for direction pattern, select this datum plane for first direction. Now this one will be 22 into 2 which is 44. Number of item I will consider as 20 and I will say ok. Same way this one pattern, direction pattern. Again I will select the same plane, this is 44 and this is 20, say ok. And your part is done. You see? And your part is done. So this was the wire mesh used for fencing in cryoparametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.